Welcome to our review of the new Apple 4K TV. Here are some of the topics that we will cover. Unboxing. We will show you what the Apple TV comes with and the additional items you may need to purchase. Setup. We show you how to hook it up to your TV and the initial settings you must complete to get the Apple TV up and running. We will also show you how the Siri remote works and how you can control your Apple TV with your iPhone or Apple Watch. Tour. We will show you the many things that the Apple TV can do, including the ability to play back stunning 4K HDR movies. HDR versus SDR. We will explain what HDR is and final thoughts. We will summarize our findings and make a recommendation. So let's get started. Part 1. Unboxing. On the back of the packaging, you will notice that we are testing the 32GB version. The Apple TV also comes in a 64GB version. We recommend purchasing the 64GB version if you play a lot of games, use a lot of apps, and watch a lot of shows and movies at a time. Although because it's a streaming device, the 32GB version will be fine for most users. The Apple TV itself is pretty small, 1.4 inches high, 3.9 inches wide, and 3.9 inches deep. But don't let its size fool you. It's powered by a very peppy A10X Fusion chip, which delivers two times the CPU performance and four times the graphic performance of its predecessor. It has three ports in the back for the power supply, HDMI connection, and Ethernet port for connecting directly to a broadband modem. It includes a power cord and a lightning to USB cable for charging the remote with a computer or with an optional USB wall plug adapter. It also comes with a rechargeable Siri remote, which we will go over in more detail later. Your Siri remote should run for a month or more with normal use before requiring charging. And of course, the usual documents and stickers. By the way, every Apple TV comes with a one-year limited warranty and 90 days of complimentary telephone technical support. There are a few items that it does not come with, but will require depending on your setup. A HD TV, a 4K TV, or, as we recommend, a 4K HDR TV that supports HDR10 or Dolby Vision. We will discuss the benefits of HDR a little later. You will also need an HDMI 2.0 or later cable and wireless Ethernet network or broadband internet access. If you are not using wireless, you will need an Ethernet cable for plugging directly into a broadband modem. Part 2. Setup Hook up your power cable to your Apple TV and then connect the other end to a power outlet. If you want to connect to the internet using Ethernet, connect your Apple TV to your router with an Ethernet cable. If you want to connect to the internet using wireless, Wi-Fi setup comes later, and you don't need an Ethernet cable. With an HDMI cable, plug your Apple TV directly into your television. Turn on your television, and with your TV's remote, select the input that you plugged your Apple TV's HDMI cable into. You should see the Apple TV setup screen. Before we go further into setup, let's go over the Siri remote. It has a glass touch surface, trackpad, for moving right, left, up, or down. It can also be pushed or clicked to make a selection. The play pause button is self-explanatory. When watching a movie or show, you can fast forward by holding down the right side of the touch surface. To rewind, hold down the left side of the touch surface. The menu button allows you to return to the previous screen. Hold the Siri button to speak commands. A few command examples include Find Will Ferrell movies. Find the series finale of This Is Us. Play Harry Potter. Find HDR movies. Find action movies. 
While playing a movie, you can tell Siri commands like, skip ahead two minutes. Next, we have the TV Home button. To see your recently used apps, double press the TV Home button. If you press and hold the TV Home button for five seconds, you can then select to put the Apple TV in sleep mode. Finally, the volume button lets you control the volume of your TV. You can also get the Apple TV Remote app from the App Store for your iPhone or Apple Watch. It works just like your Siri remote. The phone app can bring up a keypad to type out words if you prefer not to speak to Siri. Handy if you lose your remote or want to do a lot of typing. Now that you know the basics of the Siri remote, let's continue setting up your Apple TV. Connect your Siri remote by clicking the touch surface once. The next screen is pretty basic, just pick your language and country. After that, you'll have to make some additional setup choices manually or choose Setup using your iPhone or other device. This second option is much faster because it transfers many settings from your iOS device all at once to your Apple TV, including iTunes login information, iCloud, and Wi-Fi settings. To set up using your iPhone or other device, simply do this. Hold your device near the Apple TV. This will begin the setup sequence. Authenticate it by typing the code on your TV screen and your Wi-Fi and account information is transferred to your Apple TV. Then enter your iTunes password to complete the process. Note, to set up using your iPhone or other device, you must be connected to wireless. Your Apple TV cannot be connected to the internet with an ethernet cable. Part 3, Tor. Now that we are finished with setup, let's explore what your Apple TV has to offer. The home screen shows all of your apps. These apps can be rearranged, organized into folders, and deleted. To move an app, highlight the app that you want to move. Hold down the touch surface until the app starts to jiggle. To move the app, swipe left, right, up, or down. When you're finished, press the touch surface. To create a folder, just highlight an app, hold down the touch surface until the app starts to jiggle. Then drag the app onto another app. To rename a folder, select it, then update the title using the keyboard. To delete an app, just highlight the app and hold down the touch surface until the app starts to jiggle. Then press the play pause button and choose delete. The first icon on our home screen is the TV app. If we open it by clicking on it, we see the Watch Now screen, showing your favorite shows and movies. It allows you to pick where you left off and it also makes recommendations. If we slide to the right, we get to the Library tab. Here's everything you've purchased from iTunes and any current rentals. The Store tab shows available subscription services from more than 60 providers, like Hulu, Showtime, and CBS. The Search tab helps you find movies and shows. If we hit the menu button to return back to the home screen, we can slide over and click on the App Store. Here's where you can download many apps including games. You can use your Siri remote as a game controller, or you can purchase a wireless Bluetooth controller. You can also find entertainment apps like Netflix and YouTube. The Categories tab is a good way to find apps organized in groups. The selection is pretty wide. Now, let's check out the Movies app. These are the movies that you can rent or purchase from Apple. The available titles are vast. If you click on a film, you can view a preview. This film, Atomic Blonde, is in high resolution 4K. 4K ultra high definition movies have four times the number of pixels as a full HD movie. 4K movies mean crisper images and more detail. Fortunately, 4K content costs the same as previous HD content, and any HD movies that you've already purchased from Apple will be automatically upgraded to 4K when those versions arrive, at no additional cost. 
no need to rebuy all of your HD movies again. To take advantage of 4K viewing, you need a 4K Ultra HD television. The TV Show app is similar to the Movies app, but focuses on television content. The available binge-worthy series, shows, and television documentaries are also vast and affordable. Now we will check out the Music app. This is where you can find your Apple Music library. The Photos app lets you view your photos, which look pretty impressive on a 4K TV. The Podcast app is for listening to your favorite audio shows on your TV. You can also see that we've already downloaded a bunch of other apps including Hulu, Netflix, Vimeo, YouTube, and HBO Go. The Netflix app is another place to find a lot of great 4K content if you own an Ultra HD TV. Part 4 HDR vs SDR Playback Let's go back and check out another film available in the movie app. This one is called Logan, and I have already purchased it. It is a 4K HDR movie. So what is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. Apple TV has the ability to play back HDR movies or shows. To take advantage of this new technology, you will need a 4K TV that is HDR10 or Dolby Vision ready. Dolby Vision and HDR10 are two of the most popular flavors of HDR, and the Apple TV can play both. So how does HDR content improve your viewing experience? HDR video has two benefits over standard dynamic range playback, or SDR. This includes greater details in the shadows and highlights of the image, as simulated in this photo. You also get improved color with HDR video. HDR can display more than a billion colors. Older 4K SDR TVs could only display millions of colors. Part 5. Final Thoughts Some people have complained about the price of the Apple TV compared to its competitors. But with Apple, you get what you paid for, including iTunes, the App Store, a super-fast A10X processor, a large selection of HDR 4K movies, TV shows, a photo gallery, and a slick and easy to use interface. For those reasons, we highly recommend it. And don't worry, if you don't have a 4K HDR TV today, content will still look great playing from the Apple 4K TV on an HD set or an SDR 4K TV. Check out some of the recommended products that pair well with the Apple TV in the description below. And please subscribe to our channel if you found this content helpful. Thanks for watching.